Hello, I hope this video finds you well. Um, we are continuing to record a Coding Bat solution tonight while schools are closed. And whether you're a student of mine or just out there learning the program, please don't hesitate to send along any questions. All right, tonight we're looking at extra end from string one, and this is the Python solution. The problem states, given a string, return a new string made of three copies of the last two chars of the original string. The string length will be at least two. So I want to draw your attention right here to that statement. It's giving you a precondition about the parameter that's being sent in that it is a length of at least two. So I don't have to worry about index out of bounds because if I tried to get the last two characters of a string of length one, we would have to account for that situation. All right, we can look at the examples. Hello, the last two letters are LO. So we get LO, LO, LO. AB, the last two letters are the entire string. AB, AB, AB. And high, same situation. High, high, high. Now I have a bunch of comments in here. Um, I haven't written any code to do this yet. And remember, you can get ac you can access all of the, the code and comments at my repository that is linked in this video. So this is a great opportunity to talk to students about generalization. So what I would say to a student struggling here is I'd say, okay, why don't you write out one or two examples and then do the substring part exactly, and then we can generalize it. So if we look at you know the example hello, to get the last two letters, we would need str35. And we remind ourselves that it's inclusive, exclusive, and the second value minus the first value will give you the length of the resulting substring. And if we look at AB to get the last two letters, we say 0, 2. And then we ask ourselves, what's the common pattern happening here? Well, the pattern is that the last value is always the length, and then the first value is always the length minus 2. And we can generalize it to length minus 2 and the length. So I can simply do this. I can say, L is equal to len bracket str, and then I can return str at l minus 2 colon l. And remember, we have to put this three times, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this exact same piece of code here, and I'm going to do it twice more. And a third time, and I'll hit go, and there it is. So that's one way to go about this. Now, we can also do this using a very specific Python shortcut, and that is to use that multiplication tool. So if I return str l minus 2, well, that's actually l equals len str, and I'm going to return, put enter a couple times here, str l minus 2, l, and then I multiply it by 3, Oh, that should be L-E-N, not L-E-T. There we go. And this is a nice little shortcut in Python. When you multiply a string by some value, you just get that string that many times. Now, I have a couple minutes, I think, so why don't I just talk about one more thing. Um, this is a precursor to a little bit more complicated question. Imagine the question was slightly changed where it said, you know, you had a second parameter, N, and so you had to print out the last two letters N times. And to do that, you'd use a loop. So let's do this one more time. Let's, let's solve this problem using a loop. And this is overkill here. I wouldn't do this, but it's good to kind of practice the use of a loop. So what I can do is I'm going to start off by taking L equals LEN STR. And now I'm going to make a new STR. Let's call it new STR. And that's going to be an empty string. And we're going to use the process of concatenation. But as opposed to doing it three times, I'm going to use a loop to do that. So I'm going to say 4i in range, and I'm going to write a loop. <laughs> I'm going to write a loop that's going to go three times. So it's going to say 0, 3, 1. Um, remember, this is a start value, and if we're incrementing, it's always i is less than 3. So we get 0, 1, 2. And now I'm simply going to say new str is equal to new str plus str at l minus 2, l, and I hit go. Oh, I didn't return anything. And there it is. Again, overkill, but this problem is setting us up for a slightly more complicated problem where as opposed to just saying the last two letters are, are, are returned three times, it could be n times, in which case we would have to write this as a loop and instead of three put n there. I hope that helped. Have a great day.